The world depends on mobility. In fast-growing cities, people spend more and more time in their cars. But soon, in a not-so-distant future, system is active. Self-driving cars will ease this commute. If the self-driving car will be coming to the roads is no longer a question. The question merely is, when? Mercedes-Benz has been the leading car company when it comes to autonomous driving. In 2013, the company completed the first ever long-distance autonomous drive on country roads and through inner-city traffic in Germany. Because traffic rules, roads, and conditions are different in different countries, the self-driving S-Class is now tested on the roads of California. In the U.S., for example, streets are wider, traffic lights are differently positioned, you have right turn on red, and four-way stops all things that are different or even unknown in Germany. With so many various conditions on the road, what is the technology that enables the car to adjust and manage such vastly different situations? Equipped with eight radar systems and three cameras, the S500 Intelligent Drive garners endless information from the environment and processes this information in a split second. In combination with maps and GPS information, the research car knows its way around. Learning its environment is one thing. A whole other is learning to make informed decisions. Take a four-way stop intersection, for example. The rule appears to be simple. The first to stop is the first to go. This is something the autonomous driving Mercedes-Benz has to learn as well. And in case of any doubt, to act defensively. Equipped with the right hard and software, the research vehicle is able to more and more understand its environment and choose the correct maneuver for the situation. Knowing its way around is one thing, learning new traffic conditions the other. Combining both will turn autonomous driving into reality step by step. Autonomous driving, it's about more safety and more comfort in personal mobility. Many of our current vehicles already provide first self-driving features, such as Stop and Go Pilot, which drives the vehicle autonomously through traffic jams. It may take a few more years before our cars can drive fully autonomously on all roads and at all speeds. But the good news is that drivers, if they want to, will soon be able to let their vehicles carry out more and more autonomous maneuvers in more and more situations. First on the motorway, and then when parking. But what does a vehicle need in order to drive autonomously? First of all, it has to understand its environment in order to decide which action it needs to take. To do this, it needs a lot of data and information which is provided by its sensors. Currently, we use ultrasound, radars, and cameras to cover the vehicle's environment in all directions. In the future, additional sensor technologies may be added to this. Let us now take a closer look at the sensor setup of our current research vehicles. From the standard vehicle, we took the stereo camera, which accurately measures objects in front, such as stationary obstacles, other vehicles, or pedestrians, up to a distance of about 50 meters. It also determines the course of the lane. A long-range radar can look even farther into the distance. This car has two more of these radars installed on each side to look at traffic from the right or left, at junctions and intersections. There are also four short-range radars which check the immediate vehicle surroundings, which is useful at roundabouts and to safely pass cyclists. One camera looks to the front and checks traffic lights. Another one covers the back and helps us to improve localizing the vehicle together with the GPS system. 
the vehicle is assisted by digital maps, which are more precise and more detailed than the conventional navigation maps we are used to. They contain, for example, the position of stop lines or traffic lights, advance information which is later validated with the onboard sensor system. In our cars, an intelligent drive controller analyzes and assesses data in real time and determines which driving maneuver best fits the situation. This central decision unit is not linked to any systems outside of the vehicle and is therefore protected from any undesired external access. We learned a lot in retracing the original long-distance drive by Berta Benz some 125 years ago with a self-driving car. And we discovered how we can transfer our systems from cars to trucks. It is now time for us to introduce our autonomous vehicles to people on streets on other continents. Bye.